What was The Banana Blade, a historical human's production? Hockey is one of the four major sports of the United States and one of the most popular winter pastimes of North America. As such, professional hockey is a precisely regulated sport in the 21st century under the National Hockey League, but this was not always the case. During its more than a century of operation, the league has had to adapt to many unique interpretations of the game. One of these was simply known as the Banana Blade. This begs the question, what was the Banana Blade? Today, all professional hockey sticks have a curved blade between 3 eighths to half an inch, but this was not always the case. For the first half century of its existence, hockey sticks in the National Hockey League had blades that were completely flat. The banana blade, as the name suggests, features a dramatic and now outright illegal curve. The banana blade represents player-based innovations and modifications to the blade of a hockey stick with the goal of making shots taken with that hockey stick less predictable and thus more difficult for goaltenders to block. At a minimum of between half an inch and three quarters of an inch, a banana blade has a significant curve along the blade of the hockey stick. This is a quarter inch above the maximum allowed curvature currently enforced by the National Hockey League. The first hockey stick to feature a curvature occurred in 1927, when Cy Denny of the Ottawa Senators decided to mold the blade of his stick with hot water. The curvature Denny acquired with this technique allowed him to elevate pucks, making his shots less predictable for goaltenders. The idea of a curved hockey stick was quickly abandoned by the vast majority of players who were uncomfortable with the changes in overall handling and the efficiency of backhanded shots that result from the curved blade. The next attempt at curving the blade of a hockey stick, which would become known as the banana blade, occurred entirely by accident. During a practice session in the 1960-61 season, Chicago Blackhawks Stan Makita and Bobby Hull decided to continue practicing after Makita had busted his stick bending the blade into a V-shape. When Makita continued to take shots with the bent hockey stick, both he and Hull discovered that the puck would veer unpredictably. Recognizing the difficulty a goaltender would have in blocking such a mobile puck, the two players began to experiment with a variety of curved blades, ranging from slight bends to full-on hooks. While both players were excellent shooters prior to the banana blade, with it they combined to win the scoring championships, also known as the Art Ross Trophy, six times in a single decade and set the record for most goals by a player in a single season during the 1968-69 season. The high caliber scores of Makita and Hull quickly earned the banana blade a large following among goal-hungry players who performed a variety of stunts from soaking their sticks in water to jamming them under doors to contort their blades. Players favoring the banana blade claimed it helped them better juke the goaltender, made it easier to scoop the puck off the wall, and allowed them to put more force behind their shots. The banana blade was deeply unpopular among goaltenders who claimed the wild motions of some of the new curved blades were downright dangerous, citing fear of injury as a chief concern. This was before player helmets were mandatory, and as such, fear of severe head injury was warranted for many players. The banana blade was also met with hostility from forwards who found the curve limited their control of the puck on breakaways, and often prevented backhand shots. The National Hockey League responded to the concerns and desires of both sides by limiting the curvature of blades that would be allowed in hockey games. Capping the curvature at one inch in 1969 and then at a half inch in 1970 allowed for players to continue to gain some of the much sought after goal scoring movement the banana blade allowed for without making the puck's motion so unpredictable to be a danger to some players on the ice. Because of the potential safety hazard, the rules on blade curvature are strictly enforced with a minimum two minute penalty for any player found utilizing a blade with even a center or more curve. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. If there's a topic that you would like to see, leave a comment down below letting us know what it is. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime we release a new video. And please be sure to check out all of our social medias listed down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.